This is the Adidas Sobakov, a soccer-inspired lifestyle shoe. The knit upper is stitched with a wave-layered pattern design, making it consistent to the flow of the midsole. The slanted U-shaped lacing style and tongue makes the fit a bit uncomfortable. The Cobra style three stripes logo finishes the overall bold look of the upper. The Sobakov name is seen in the insole and tongue. The main highlight of the shoe is the herringbone wave pattern gum sole. It's not that flexible like the Commando, which makes it a bit uncomfortable. Overall, for $120, this is totally worth it. If you're thinking of buying one, go true to size. this July which is the Adidas Sobakov and I think the Commanda is much better in terms of overall quality and structure but this is not that bad this is only my first impression and I'm with my son Day is family day Saturday. Yeah, I'm going to test it out. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome again to another video and to all the new subscribers, thank you for supporting the channel and if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. To all the people who are giving comments, suggestions, and feedbacks, I do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the person that I met today at Commonwealth. Thank you sir for approaching me. Sorry, I forgot your name. I think it's RC. Correct me if I'm wrong. Live. A comment down below so yes today July 21 Saturday is the official release of the Adidas Sobakov it's a soccer inspired shoe so for $120 here in the Philippines it's 7,000 pesos or $140 yes this is totally worth it in terms of overall materials it's a bit uncomfortable because it has an imbalanced structure it's heavy at this part while this part it's not the overall composition you have a wide mid area while the toe area is slow and it's tight and narrow which is a bit uncomfortable while walking as I test it with my son we play around we walk in the mall after 30 minutes, it, it becomes stressful. Wearing this becomes stressful because it doesn't have enough cushion and support. Compared to the Commanda that I wear for almost 2 hours, 3 hours in the mall, yes, it's lighter and it has proper proportion because the as I as I remember the commander has a big has also a big big toe area the midsole has also a big toe area at the same time 
with the end part of the midsole. So, yes, compared to the Commander, the Commander is much more comfortable. However, this one looks more looks more of a regular casual shoe. So yes, it's a it's a it's a nice lifestyle casual shoe. It may be a bit uncomfortable. It's a bit uncomfortable, but for one hundred twenty dollars, I consider this this is a great buy in terms of materials, in terms of the quality, design, and style. So if you're thinking of buying one, go true to size. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit that like button. See you on another video.